I'm Jennifer Angel and this is your overview report Capricorn for 2013. So Saturn is moved into your 11th house. So this is like represent teamwork. Now it's sitting there for the next two years, two and a half years will be taken into account the retrograde period. So it's a good, it's a good time to just join groups of people, work together. Um, it's a charity groups as well, a good time to make your mark there. And uh, for you Capricorn, you have a lot to offer on this level because you're a, a, a leadership sign and also a very organized sign. And committees, groups and charities are always looking for people like you, okay? So you can really get in and accomplish your goals this year. So Pluto helps to shape it, you know, yourself as well. So Pluto is in your sign right through to 2026. So an extended stay, let's say. And that's going to help you just to, to shape yourself as an individual and just come in more to your own and to feel more comfortable within yourself. Let's have a look at romance. So if you're looking for love, then this looks like a lucky year for you. Jupiter mid-year is going to enter at the sign of Cancer, which is on the solar chart is your seventh house. This is all to do with love and relationships. So, um, you know, certainly come mid-year for a year right through to the middle of 2014 is a time where you can um, meet somebody who's worthy of settling down, let's say, okay? So there's also some radical changes that can happen this year and over the next couple of year with Uranus in your sort of fourth house. So this is all to do with your home and family. So um, your traditional family values can be, can be challenged, for instance, and um, Pluto in your sign can really just challenge your beliefs. So um, as I said, this is like the Uranus-Pluto squares are over a three year period. We had two last year, two this year, two next year and one in uh, March, I think it is 2015. So the squares I'm talking about are like exact hits on the, on the square and Pluto being in your sign and Uranus being in your fourth house of home and family can present, let's say some challenging aspects, but also help you to clear past energy, get in touch with any, um, issues that perhaps are deep seated, being able to clear that blocked energy and be able to move on. So yes, they can be confronting, but they can also be empowering as well. All right, so, and once that's happened, you, you know, you can just feel free to um, move on in the way that you want to move on. So also with career this year, there's, um, doors can magically open for an advance for advancement to take place. There was a uh, sextile that in the later part of November that was um, with your uh, ruling planet Saturn and that's going to go right through for a year with a couple of exact degree hits which can really just be magical for career for you. So. Don't, never give up hope Capricorn. Things might move slow, but they are moving. Now, personal growth. Um, you can let go of control. Easier said than done for you, I know, but you can let go of control this year and invite other people in to take part of your life. So if you can do that, then this will all be part of your personal growth this year. Your power month I've put down for January the 11th is your annual new moon, which always signifies the start of your next solar, um, your next solar phase. And the Sun and Jupiter also connect in January, which is very good to give your work and money a boost. So we like that. And your, um, my, or my angel advice rather for 2013 for you Capricorn is Jupiter. It still sits in your solar six house for the first six months of the year, which means um, health is very important and your well-being and you really need to set good routines that you're able to follow. It's fabulous for someone else to uh, concoct a, a you know diet and exercise program for you but if it doesn't fit into your lifestyle then you're not going to follow it okay. So you need to really be proactive about setting routines that you can follow. 
Okay, so Capricorn, this is just like a snap view of 2013. For a more extensive written report, you can go to the Jennifer Angel Painters on the NewYorkDailyNews.com site, and or you can contact me via email and I can send it to you. Love and luck to you. Thanks for watching and your support, and I look forward to reconnecting with you on a monthly basis with the monthly reports. Bye for now.